This video takes a look at the bubble sort algorithm. So sorting algorithms are used to sort data in particular ways and there are some standard sorting algorithms that you need to know for your GCSE and today we're going to look at the first of those which is the bubble sort. So the bubble sort is very straightforward in how it works. It just steps through a list of data comparing each pair of data that it comes across and swaps them if they're in the wrong order. So here's an example of a bubble sort being performed on a set of data. So we start off, our position of focus is looking at the first item, which is the number five. And you can see that the one after that has uh, contains the number seven. So the five and the seven are compared. Now they are in the right order. So what we do is we increment the position of focus up by one so that we are now looking at the seven and we're looking at the one after that position of focus. So the seven and two are now compared. Now because the seven is greater than two, obviously it's in the wrong order, so they swap. So we now move the position of focus up one, and because the seven had swapped with the two, we are still looking at the number seven, but now in the third position. And we're comparing it with the item after that. So the seven and the three are compared, they are in the wrong order, so they swap. Now we are looking at a seven and comparing it with the one after that, which is also contains a seven. They're in the absolutely fine order. So we increment the position of focus up by one. The seven is compared with the nine. And again, they're in the right order. Now for a bubble sort to be um, certain that everything is in order, it has to pass through the array once again without making any other changes. But obviously in this case, we still haven't got a sorted array the five is in the wrong position. So we'll do a second pass. So as we go through pass two of our bubble sort, five and two are compared, they're in the wrong order, so they swap. The five and the three are compared, they're in the wrong order, so they swap. Five and seven are in the correct order, seven and seven's in the correct order, and seven and nine's in the correct order. So they are now ordered. However, as I said before, the bubble sort algorithm isn't intelligent. It simply will only know that the array is ordered if there is a final pass where there are no swaps. So a third pass would be required here by the bubble sort algorithm to ensure that there are no more swaps and to be satisfied that the array is in order. So here's an example of the bubble sort algorithm. So whilst the array is unsorted, what we're doing is we are iterating through using a for loop um, each item within the um, data set and if the item that we're looking at is greater than the next item then what we do is we swap the items around now in order to swap the items around we need to have a new variable a temporary variable that's going to hold the value during the swap so what we do is we say the position the item that we are wanting to swap goes into this temporary variable the the item um, after the one that we are focusing on is going to go into the position that we are focusing on at the moment and then the contents of that temporary variable will be uh, placed in the position after the position of focused. So in that way the items will swap around. 